GIS and GPS, agricultural mapping and soil sampling. And number one, GIS and GPS field mapping. Analysis and assessment of the condition of agricultural land is the foundation of the precision farming and involves collection, storage, processing and analysis of a huge amount of information about each piece of land. The best way to organize information on agricultural land is an electronic map and the database attached to it. Not only border of field, road network, localites, uh, but also information on the texture of the ground, surface, soil conditions, crop rotations and crop yield of the multi-layer map over the uh, years is uh, depicted on such a map. The electronic map can be of two types, raster and vector type. Pixels in raster images are visual represent a representation of uh, numerical information such as elevation, temperature, uh, reflectance, population den uh, density, crop yield, etc. Image processing tools allow you to uh, visualize, manipulate and uh, analyze this information in a variety of ways. For example, crop yield data to infer the agricultural productivity across a region. Vector database defines futures by their geometry representing each uh, future is a point, line or polygon. Information about a group of related uh, features with the same type of geometry is collected in a database, which includes not only the geometric description of the future but uh, any other information which we have to keep track of. In a GIS, such a group of related futures is uh, represented visually by a layer of them. The database linked to each layer is called attribute table. There are some ways to make electronic map. Walking along the perimeter of the field with navigation equipment. Uh, next, by uh, satellite images or by drones images. And next way uh, is by uh, GPS tractor guidance system or combined method. An electronic field map is created once and regularly update. Crop rotation data can also be changed every year. The key advantage uh, uh, of an electronic map over the paper uh, map uh, is each of its objects completely autonomous. It can be edited uh, separately from other objects and a wide range of characteristics can be attached to each of them. A structure of information uh, is the basis for creating a modern agricultural management system. The electronic field map can show the real uh, boundaries and uh, the area of uh, farmland. It also can help to calculate how many fertilizers to use and uh, to control a crop. The difference between the real size of farmland and the size known to the agronomist uh, or manager can be about 20%. And next point is agro uh, agrochemical survives and legal framework, uh, framework. The main goal of agrochemical survives is to identify the level of elements of mineral nutrition uh, pH, soil density, texture, moisture content, soil solution, conductivity and temperature. The agrochemical analysis uh, can be separated into groups. Bacteriological, macro elements, micro elements, toxic elements, agrochemical. The main task of the agrochemical survives are uh, timely identification of changes in the state of fertility of agricultural land, assessment, forecast and adoption of necessary measures for the con um, conservation and improvement of soil fertility, uh, development of recommendations for the uh, efficient use of agriculture and land, appointment, uh, uh, prevention and elimination of the uh, consequences of uh, negative processes. Information of the State Department of Land Registry and Control of Soil Fertility and Land Protection. <clears throat>
the uh, regulatory framework for uh, land in Russia using soil fertility management is the federal law on state regulation uh, of ensuring the fertilizer of agricultural land. And next, agrochemical uh, soil survive methodology. Elementary plots uh, the smallest area uh, sufficient to analyze one sample mixed soil. One mixed soil sample is taken from each elementary site for analysis. A mixed soil sample is made up of a certain number of individual samples. The number of samples depends on the type of soil. Individual samples range from 20 to 40 usually. The main uh, requirement for soil sampling is to obtain an average sample. A correct sample will uh, lead to incorrect results. The first step is dividing the fields into elementary sections. It, uh, it is also possible to divide the field into large sections, including several elementary ones. Individual soil samples are taken along the axis of the elementary section along the long side. Individual samples are taken with a drill to the depth of the topsoil in uh, high fields and uh, pastures, the depth uh, of the humus horizon. The mass of the uh, mixed soil samples should be at least 300 grams. Mixed samples taken from the elementary site are sent to an agronomical laboratory where they are uh, dried uh, to an air dry state. In the end, the result is the passport of the fields. Uh, next, uh, automation of analysis uh, assessment agrochemical data. Automatic soil samplers are used to take soil samples. It is possible by mounted on tractor, cars, all terrain vehicle, uh, mini tractors, and etc. The vehicle is equipped uh, with a GPS receiver and a computer which uh, allows immediately to record the coordinates uh, of the sampling points of the electronic map in the field to monitor the examination road. So, uh, soil survive um, stage include making a field uh, counter with the accuracy of a GPS receiver, making the field uh, into elementary section on a sections of a given area or size, uh, sampling and labeling, our chemical analysis uh, in an accredited laboratory, uh, visualization, visualization and uh, analysis of the results in the uh, GIS. Automated, automated soil samplers are used to improve productivity. Such a sampler mounting on a vehicle, it can be ATV, CUV, trailer, tra uh, trailer or tractor, allows to take soil samples for agrochemical inspection from an area of up to 1,500 uh, hectares per day. While the human factor of proof soil sampling is excluded. The sampler mounted on the ATV uh, can be used throughout the season, it leaves no traces uh, in the early spring sampling of soils uh, it is uh, man uh, maneuverable and highly productive. The disadvantage of uh, the ATV is the lack of comfortable working uh, conditions for the specialist and uh, the needs for uh, another vehicle with a trailer for its transportation. Using a pickup truck provides comfortable working conditions for a specialist and uh, uh, maneuverability while sampling from uh, fields located at a uh, considerable distance from each other. The disadvantages include uh, the inability to work in early spring and live in a gauge of moist soil. The use of automobile trailer and tractor is less operative uh, because uh, of their low productivity and uh, uh, excessive com uh, compression of the soil. Today, two of the most popular types of automated soil assemblers are bricking and drilling. 
In Freaking, for example, Vintix 1000 selection is carried out by using a special design probe which rotates in a spiral when the soil is punctured um, thereby producing the <clears throat> a load on the mechanism and ensuring a higher rate of soil intake. The uh, internal uh, cavity of the probe has a side that allows for 10 or uh, 15 punctures uh, to collect the amounts of soil necessary for laboratory analysis. Uh, it's about uh, uh, 300 grams. Soil samplers are automatically placed in a box which when filled uh, is removed uh, manually from the sampler, uh, take it uh, and sent to the laboratory. The depth of the selection is about uh, 30 centimeters. The advantages of printing samplers are quite operation and uh, ages of uh, installation high productivity. The disadvantages include the in, uh, inability to work on a dry, heavy and compacted soil. The maximum depth of uh, selection cannot exceed uh, 30 centimeters. The net field uh, 2005 drilling sample is equipped uh, with a hydraulic pump through which the drills is Im uh, immersed in and removed from the soil. It takes about 5 uh, seconds to complete one sample, excluding moving from point to point. After 10 or 15 punctures within the elementary soil area, the operator pours soil from a metal container into a, a numbered bag. The advantages of drill samples are guaranteed uh, extraction of the soil sample, even of a very hard soil, higher uh, reliability and the ability to take samples from different depths. Uh, the disadvantages are uh, complexity of uh, construction, high price, noise during operation and low productivity. And next, uh, field breakdown in elementary sections. The electronic diagram of the fields in uh, storage and processing in GIS programs uh, in which a raster grid uh, or a grid or rectangular sections is automatically applied for each field. Uh, in the future, and the next agrochemical survives, it's necessary to use uh, an already made grid of elementary sites in order to dy dynamically track uh, the change uh, in each element and assess the fertility status of each elementary site. A unique number is uh, assigned to to it in the program for automatically entering the results of analysis from the laboratory and cons um, constructing programs of the slides elements. And there are zonal field maps. Uh, then it's uh, more uh, expensive to divide the field into polygons, taking into account its uh, humigazons zones. The advantages of zonal soil sampling along tracks are that soil does not mix with the neighboring zones. Uh, in this case, each polygon is an elementary section. Uh, soil sampling road with track coordinates. Inside each elementary section in the program, the track of the sampler moves along the diagonal or along a curved path. It is a curved uh, selection road moving along which a specialist works as an automatic sampler. And next, uh, soil sampling. The main requirement for soil sampling is the preservation of uh, coordinates uh, along established roads and depth control. Uh, usually it's 30 or 60 um, centimeters in rice fields it's about 20 centimeters and software uh, soil sampling is carried out according to the electronic map on which the elementary plots they indicate uh, and uh, along the road of the sampler for each elementary plot 
An electronic map with selection routes and elements, numbers, or is loaded uh, on the field computer with special software. The field computer must be um, dustproof, waterproof, and vibration resistant. An external GPS antenna uh, is connected to the computer uh, via USB or COM port for uh, positioning on the location. The uh, software also allows to maintain navigation along the selected road on the field market on the on the board computer. The specialist uh, on the sampler moves strictly along the pre-created tracks uh, that are displayed on the field computer screen and perform the selection. Uh, the movement of the track is corrected by using a GPS antenna. <clears throat> Laboratory soil analysis. Uh, selected and labeled samples are delivered to the agrochemical laboratory accredited in uh, accordance with GOS or ESO for analysis. Uh, the list of parameters uh, determined in the laboratory includes the wall range of indicators necessary for assessing the degree of soil supply with plant nutrition elements, uh, for example, magnesium, uh, boron, sulfur, uh, hydrogen index, cation exchange capacity, etc. Nowadays, laboratories have high precision analytical equipment. Uh, which increases the accuracy of measurements by several times. And processing soil analysis results. After analysis uh, are conducted, the data are structured by specialists who calculate the rate of fertilizer applied for each elementary plot depending on the planted crop yield. When calculating the fertilized parameters and price, as well as <clears throat> restrictions or uh, on uh, fertilizer application are uh, re regarded. <clears throat> as a result, the agronomist can see a map with the fertilizer rate for the field. The cost of fertilizers is also shown. Uh, special software can place uh, maps for differential fertilizer application. The created differential fertilizer spreading map are uh, transferred by the memory card or to uh, the on board terminals <coughs> of agricultural vehicle, which automatically control the fertilizer uh, spreader flaps. <coughs> uh, by different uh, differentiated application, the operation of the machine operator doesn't become more complicated. His main task uh, is to control uh, the tractor. The fertilizer spreader terminal automatically adjusts the rate according to the map. Uh, the use of modern equipment, software and new methods uh, leads to a, dif a different approach of uh, conducting agrochemical fields survives. Increasing accuracy, automating the process and increasing the efficiency and environmental uh, safety of using expensive fertilizers. Thank you so much. See you soon.